Okay, so this video is low key out of focus. So if it bugs you, I'm really sorry. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. Okay, bye. This is my third time filming this video, so if the video does not go well, this video is never gonna see the light of day because I'm tired of filming it. I can't put my hair behind my ear because it points out my elf ears, so we just can't do that. The shirt looks really like sloppy. Like, I just don't really like it, but whatever. Hey guys, it's Brooklyn Parker, and welcome back to my channel. Why do I look like I have two horns? So, in today's video, I will be filming a freshman advice. I want to say thank you to the people who have still been subscribing to me and who haven't unsubscribed since I last uploaded. Like, I still be getting like emails from YouTube saying, hey, such and such subscribed. And I haven't posted a video in a long time, so it still means a lot that you guys still subscribe and you guys still stay. Also, we're at 1,500 subscribers, and I want to say thank you guys for that. Like, 1,500 people watch my videos. So without further ado, let's actually get started with the video. So I will be a sophomore this year, so that means I've gone through my freshman year. Last year, I've been through my freshman year, so I have some tips and tricks for starting high school if you're nervous, all that jazz. I mean, I don't get really, I don't get really, I mean, I don't think get really know this about me because I don't act like it in my videos, or do I? I don't think it, I don't think I show it, but I might. I am not painfully shy, but I am pretty shy when it comes to like meeting new people in public, like I, hate it, I hate public speaking, like I hate walking up to new crowds, like I don't like it, like I don't like it, like it freaks me out. And I don't, I'm pretty sure you guys have noticed in my videos that I stutter and especially like when I'm like public speaking or around new people, like I stutter a lot more, but like I try to edit it out so you guys don't know that I stutter, but I still do. <laughs> Starting a high school with like older kids, I was freaking out, but it actually, it's really not that bad. Also, the last two times I filmed this video, I talked so much that I was not sitting through and editing 24 minutes of footage. I was just not gonna do that. So we're gonna try to keep it short and sweet. So if you would like a more elaborate answer to any of these tips, or if you guys have your own questions for starting middle school, high school, any of that, leave those in the comments down below and I'll be happy to answer them in the comments or like elaborate more because I'm trying to keep this video short and sweet. Nobody wants to watch a 20 minute video or like DM me or like on Twitter, Instagram, and I'll be happy to get back to you there shameless self promo my instagram and twitter <laughs> follow me so the first two tips i have for you guys is just to take it seriously and because it's the easiest year so really just don't do anything stupid i didn't do my best but like i still finished with a 3.4 gpa which isn't that bad but it's not as good as i had in middle school obviously so like i said just don't take it light like just I mean it's the easiest year but like actually like do the work and like study and all that stuff I was a person in middle school who didn't really study and I still got good grades I still didn't really study in high school and like I did okay but like if you just study like just study upperclassmen they're cool but they might be rude sometimes they might think that they own the place which kind of gets on my nerves but I mean hey if I was a senior I'd probably act like that too like it's my last year never gonna see you guys ever again most likely I don't really care um but just kind of Stay in your own lane. Don't think you're coming into high school being like, cause you're not, just sit down. And a great tip if you want to meet new friends, like if you want to be friends with like the upperclassmen, join a sport club, join a sport and a club, most likely. Those are like the two that can really like engage you with upperclassmen and you guys can talk and then become friends and everything is cool. I had friends that were upperclassmen, they're fun. I say use a locker. I know some people don't like it because their school is so big, they just don't have time to go to their locker and their class and everything's just spread out. Our school is like low key kind of small, so it wasn't that bad, like going to my locker and stuff like that. Our school was first, second, third snack, fourth, fifth, lunch, sixth, go home. So I like during snack and lunch, I just brought the stuff that I would need for the next couple classes. I didn't bring everything with me or nothing with me. Like I just kind of, knew what classes I had and what to bring for each class. Games are fun, go to games, especially for schools like actually good and like football, basketball, like whatever games you like going to, go to them. They're fun, they're great to socialize with people. Plus if your friends from other schools are like on the other team, great to like hang out with your friends. It's just a fun Friday night. Like go to football games, go to basketball games, they're fun. Watch out for phones. I mean, if, you, if your teacher says, put your phone away, put your phone away. It's as simple as that. Don't be one of those kids that tries to sneak it like underneath their desk, like literally just put it away. These next two are pretty much similar. Friends change and obviously make friends. Friends change, they could go to different high schools. You guys never see each other again. You see them finally and they're just completely different and you're like, what? Same with if your friends join a club or a sport, they could change based on the people that they surround themselves with in their club or other sport. Don't get mad. They just change. Also, make new friends, friends or people in your classes. Uh, make friends with them. It's also a great like idea to get a person's number at least from each class in case you're absent or you don't understand the homework, you can talk to that person and 
get homework help or actually know what they did. And, and it's just great to like have at least someone in each class that you can call and ask for help. And also if you're in a club or a sport, also make friends in there because most likely if you guys are in a club or a sport, you guys share at least some common interests. The next one is pretty common for anyone starting a new school. You don't just have to be a freshman. You could be like a sophomore, junior, senior, you're going to a new school. You are gonna get lost, especially if your school is humongous. Ours wasn't that big, so I didn't really get lost. I just kind of mixed up my two classes. So then I kind of had to run, like I was that freshman, like running. I only ran one time though. Or when you get your schedule, it has the room numbers and then your planner. I know freshmen get planners. No one else gets a planner. I didn't really use my planner. My planner was pointless. Before you go to school, try to like walk your way through it, like based on like the numbers and the map that they give you and like your room numbers. And then on the first day of school, it shouldn't be that hard. You should kind of have a like sense of where you're going, not just completely lost. Be yourself. That works for anything in life, any grade, any occasion, be yourself. If these friends don't like you for being you, don't like them. <laughs> I mean, they don't like you for you. Don't change to be with someone. Even like they're the popular kids, they're the cool kids, they're whatever, they ain't worth it. This next one probably sounds weird, but like honestly, just like befriend a teacher, like, or teachers. It's just nice to like be cool with your teachers. Like not just like, oh my God, I hate that teacher. Like I hate that teacher. One of my teachers didn't like her. But like, ooh, no, mm -mm, hated that class. Just befriend a teacher. I had one teacher. He's my sixth period teacher, my bio teacher. You go to my school you guys literally know who i'm talking about because literally everyone loved this teacher he was just he was just like a cool teacher that like pretty much anyone could talk to like you can go to his class whenever like during lunch or snack like he was just, like a cool teacher so befriend a teacher it might work out in your favor it might not but it's just cool to have that teacher that like in case you get kicked out of a class or like your friends leave you at lunch or whatever you can go to the teacher's classroom and just sit and hang out and enjoy the ac and everything's cool so just befriend a teacher trust me it will help you out the next one is use Quizlet. I have like actual, like multiple apps that you guys can actually use. I don't know what these next three are to like your benefit. I mean, it's all this is to your benefit, but like these next three are, okay, I'm gonna just say them, forget it. The first one, I guess, is don't walk slow. If you're gonna, if you're a slow walker and you just can't help it, walk on the outside of the hallways. Don't walk in the center. That's where people like to go to get to class. Like don't walk through the center if you walk slow. The next one is really all you need for school is a phone and a phone charger. I like to bring the, the charger and a little cube that plug into the wall in case I'm in a classroom and there's a free outlet right next to my chair and my phone's on 10%. Plug it up real quick. If your teacher says no phones out, they obviously don't want you charging your phone. Just put your phone in your backpack and then put it against the wall or whatever and then charge it and like you're charging it but you're not on it so like why should they care? Don't let people borrow your pens and pencils because they won't give them back. So that was it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm filming this August 8th so let's see when this video actually goes up. I hope it goes up this Friday whatever day that is. Like I said if you guys have any more back to school video suggestions that I should do leave those in the comments down below. I'm gonna try to revamp my channel if it's not already revamped already. I'm kind of tired of my profile picture and my banner and my end clip. Like I want something new. So I'm gonna do that and I will see you guys I'm not gonna say next Friday because that is not true but I'm gonna see you guys next time with a brand new video bye guys